Hey guys, welcome back to the 4000 series series where we're looking at some of the 4000 series CMOS chips. This one we're looking at is the 4051. It's an analog multiplexer and demultiplexer. Essentially, it's an analog switch. It will give you one common output input and also eight uh, input and outputs you can use. So it's like switching these eight uh, input or outputs over to this common one. Essentially, that's what happens. So you could use that as an input. Uh, put in an analog signal, uh, a voltage, and then that voltage can be output onto any one of these other outputs here. Or you can use that as the output and have eight separate inputs that you can switch. Now, I've rigged up a little circuit just to demonstrate um, the common I.O. So I'm using that as an output and these separate ones as an input. And we're using some voltage dividers. So I'm just using some resistor voltage dividers here. I've got them all detailed down here, but we'll go through that as I show you the circuit. It also has a binary truth table on these select pins here. So you put them high or low, and it dictates which one of the outputs or inputs is gonna be used. In this case, we're using them as inputs. So we've got our circuit here. I've put an LED onto the common output so that we can see a visual difference, but I've also hooked it up to a multimeter so that you can see a change in the voltage. Now be aware that this, um, the, the current draw on this LED is going to pull the voltage down slightly from what we might expect using the general calculation for figuring out a voltage divider. So on Y2, that's the common uh, input output just on pin 15, we've connected that directly to VCC. On Y4, we have, which is pin 1, we've got a resistor divider with two 470 ohm resistors and I expect that to roughly halve the voltage, so it's going to give us 2.6 volts. Uh, and on Y5, which is pin 5 on the left hand side, we've got a 2K resistor in resistor 2 and 470 in resistor 1. So that's hopefully going to give us about 4.3 volts. Now I've put the calculation down here so you can see it, but it's a general uh, calculation that you can use. And on our select pins, I've put some buttons so that we can ping out this truth table and select the ones that we want to see. So. If I just turn the power on, and I know we've got one on Y2, and it goes zero, uh, it goes one, two, four. So if I press uh, the second one, it should give us the highest voltage. And again, I said that the voltage would drop. If I just pull out that um, LED, it should shoot up to 5.2. But I'll pop it back in there so that just so you have a visual representation. Uh, in pin one, we have nothing. In pin two, we've got our uh, VCC and in pin 4 that's Y4 we've got this 2.6 volts and if I pull out the LED it won't drop too much because it's not drawing a lot of current but it will go up to 2.6 so that's what I expect to see and you'll see that the LED is very dim there and on Y5 which is pin 1 and sorry select 0 and select 2 so these ones here we've got 3.3 volts but it actually should be 4.3. So let's pull out that. There we go, 4.3 volts. So it's very easy to use this, this chip to select various inputs and outputs. So we could feed voltage into this uh, common pin and get those voltages out on the other pins, but I'm just using it as an input, uh, an output at the moment. So the 4051 can expand the number of analog inputs that you have on your microcontroller, but it can also expand the number of analog outputs. Now, generally with an Arduino, you're limited by the range of the ADC, but this is a true analog device, so we'll just kick out voltages that you put into the, into the inputs. 